everyone. I'm Naveen here. I'm going to present to you the full stack development lifecycle and the related technology involved. So this is all about Java full stack application development uh, from end to end, uh, starting with the uh, UI. Uh, it can be of web services or it can be of a, a website that you are, want to host for your business applications until the backend process and uh, a persistence layer the, that is database. So we have multiple different technologies and um, you know, basics involved here to complete end-to-end -end, uh, uh, development, starting with uh, Java programming. So when you see Java programming, it's just starting with uh, Java basics and uh, we supposed to know uh, the internal working of Java and what are the different uh, different programming constructs Java provides. And uh, latest version of Java is JDK uh, 18 is just rolled out uh, and um, it's having uh, very good features. So with the industry level, uh, Java 8 is now becoming a, a minimum uh, requirement uh, even for the legacy applications. So it is very important to know about uh, Java basics uh, like uh, JDK, JVM, and uh, OOPS concept followed by strings, arrays, and various collection concepts like hash map, uh, list, link list, and the set followed by multi-threading and uh, all the Java 8 plus features like the Lambda expression and uh, new features in, uh, introduced in Java 9, everything and that constitutes the basics of java programming by learning that you'll be able to understand uh, how to write code with java uh, with the simple use cases then the same can be used for uh, the advanced developments followed by we are having uh, java j2we which is uh, java enterprise reason uh, it enables you to write internet programming uh, followed by uh, you know the security mechanism and server setup everything so it is having its uh, uh, later terminology which we'll see in coming uh, uh, terminologies followed by jdbc jdbc is uh, java database connectivity so uh, it's very important for any application or any programming language to connect with database uh, to store the data and manipulate data as per the business need followed by the importance of uh, uh, you know the design patterns and what are the standards and uh, the rules we supposed to follow during uh, uh, any application development but this is more with uh, java later so it's java design patterns so we have a couple of uh, um, uh, the groups under which we have 27 different design patterns which are supposed to be followed wherever it's possible and uh, j2w if you take uh, here we are having uh, the web internet programming uh, starting with uh, java servlets it's very basic uh, of internet programming followed by the ui which is just uh, displayed in the browser which is jsp java server pages and those were just integrated with uh, j2e concept and just hosted with uh, uh, any of the web or application servers say for example we are taking apache tomcat which is a, a very famous uh, web server web servlet container for uh, uh, simple java applications and uh, uh, then we supposed to know about all the web technologies uh, st uh, starting with the basics of HTML5 and CSS3 and JavaScript uh, then you know we have some frameworks for uh, these, te uh, these te uh, web technologies like bootstrap uh, and uh, for JavaScript we are having some uh, JS frameworks like angular react and so on all right so then uh, it comes to a backend development like we have a couple of important frameworks uh, which is very much uh, easy to adapt and um, now, now becoming popular in industry which is uh, Spring, Spring Boot and Spring BIMBC. Uh, those three they, uh, frameworks are for supporting your business and the UI uh, layer followed by you have Hibernate. Hibernate is just for uh, connecting your database and uh, Java. Uh, so this is an ORM framework. So we have a couple of ORM frameworks but Hibernate is uh, uh, widely used as a uh, generalized framework and followed by we, we have some uh, uh, build tools like maven which is just uh, helping us for uh, you know uh, making all the dependencies available for our running our job application and end-to-end -end, uh, uh, development life cycle then uh, we're supposed to know about uh, the unit test uh, frameworks or uh, integration test framework like JUnit, Markito, so which is very important to uh, write uh, test cases just to uh, test your uh, uh, basic units uh, so that we can go with uh, full confidence to production. So this is uh, more of uh, uh, the non-functional testing that we are doing from our side.
then finally now the the important and uh, very famous uh, technology where everyone is uh, just uh, wonder what is api so api is application programming interfaces so with the help of spring boot and um, other microservices pattern we are exposing a lot of apis to internal and external consumers in the organizations coming uh, coming with some securities and other uh, important uh, uh, cloud concepts then i will be uh, also covering uh, how to set up your local or space uh, with help of any ids example eclipse and uh, we should know about uh, version control system like uh, git uh, then uh, we should um, install any databases uh, like um, mysql oracle or postgres uh, just to practice more uh, uh, you know the queries and the connectivity between your application and the database you can uh, verify with mysql or any other uh, uh, database tools having said that so the java full stack um, doesn't mean that we just uh, limited with these tools we have a, a couple of more tools available in one other way but you know everything is serving same purpose so uh, if we take um, you know any business applications it should have uh, you know a couple of layers uh, uh, separated starting with ui layer where you will be using uh, this technology to build up your uh, user interface uh, with its uh, ui validations and uh, back end call uh, logics everything then followed by the uh, rest apis or spring boot applications which is exposed to your angular or any ui uh, will be invoked through uh, its api call then uh, will be having a set of backend logics uh, to be processed from this spring, spring boot application we will be calling um, you know database for any persistent uh, uh, actions with the help of uh, hibernate uh, which is just a over framework uh, to maintain your uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the java uh, and uh, java layer and your uh, backend uh, uh, more compatible with uh, any any databases then uh, we need to know about um, uh, you know how how our deployment is happening and uh, you know how we are maintaining our production service um, uh, without uh, you know failing or taking a frequent access of uh, databases so those are like miscellaneous activities so uh, end of the day like to become a full stack developer we should be familiar with uh, uh, some ui concepts and ui uh, app development followed by the backend logics with any supporting uh, languages example here it is java then the uh, ba uh, you know the database logics like uh, all the queries and connectivity between your uh, backend with uh, databases finally everything will be uh, either bounded into single uh, deployable unit called var or jar or it can be also microservices so which will be deployed individually to any uh, server machine with, which have some web server app server hoster in our case it's a tomcat server which is a web server so uh, here we will be hosting our uh, application into a single unit so with the modern cloud, cloud technology so we have uh, uh, multiple ways to deploy and maintain our production environment it can be either uh, you know virtual machine mode or it can be uh, the containerization mode where you will be having individually deployable uh, services uh, which will be responsible uh, for its own uh, operations say for example ui we have separate uh, server and for backend uh, you have separate apis hosted in the uh, containers or like docker with the help of kubernetes finally you'll be having database is uh, just hosted in one of the uh, uh, cloud instance so when we talk about cloud technology so a lot of um, uh, different providers involved uh, starting with uh, uh, microsoft um, azure and uh, amazon's aws and google's gcp so a lot of uh, vendors available uh, and even for your organization you may have some uh, private cloud concepts so end of the day so we need to uh, you know finally i'm concluding uh, you know the terminologies or uh, you know the, the syllabi which you're supposed to know to become a full stack developer uh, starting with the ui and uh, some backend logics or api uh, followed by uh, any of one databases then the hosting environment where you can deploy this with some ci cd tools like jenkins or uh, uh, Puppet, puppet with some source control tool like github or uh, uh, something similar to it so hope you understand uh, you know what we are going to uh, you know uh, focus for uh, the entire syllabus uh, starting uh, from java till all the tools thank you Thank you.